welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Arl. I think that's how we're pronouncing it. Arl. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, it could be Arl. could be um, Arl. could be Arel. Um, you know, whatever it is, hopefully y'all don't mind. <laughs> but I'm going to just go with Arl. But so Arl um, here, Arl the Tracker, six mana, two, five, round end. If you have cast a spell on me this round, then I strike the weakest enemy. Pretty awesome card that basically every single round can be a removal spell. You know, all you have to do is keep casting spells on the Arl each round, and um, then each round it'll just keep striking stuff. So pretty cool. So in order to have enough spells to target, we're going to have some gems. That's going to be one part of it. We're going to have like Bench of the Stones that will create some gems, Mountain Goat creating gems. So you can kind of save those gems for that. But then we got lots of other um, ways to target in here. We're going to have Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade, which are ways to target, plus they draw cards. Um, Zenith Blade, again, target plus draw a card, even though that card is going to be Zenith Blade. And so all those kind of things work with um, Tarek as well, because, you know, Tarek, you want to uh, target your own stuff a lot, may do some supporting, and then, um, you know, each whenever you support with Tarek also, you get to copy your spell over, so you get to cast multiple spells like that. Um, for more card advantage, we got Whisper Words, but then we have, like, some certain cards that we really want to survive, like Draven, uh, even like Sparklefly. We want to buff up Sparklefly, have Draven, have Tarek, have Arl. We want those cards to be surviving. So we're going to have Bastion to help protect them and also survival skills. This is a really cool card. Um, you know, when discarded, your strongest ally can't below, can't drop below one health this round. We'll have the spinning axes that can discard them. And we should have Draven more often than not because we got Draven's biggest fan. And then Blade Squires, our other one drop, just have a one drop that can do a little bit of reforging where the reforge blades can uh, be pretty useful at times. So, all right, so that's going to be our deck. So let's play some Tarek Arl. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. Ooh. Nightfall's a really good deck. We saw that, you know, we played against it one time and got kind of crushed <laughs> today. Uh, Nightfall's very, very good. Alright, I'm going to keep the survival skills, because that can be like zero mana, save our unit. We do have to find Draven, but I kind of figured that maybe it wouldn't be too difficult to find Draven, considering we have Draven and Draven's biggest fan. Obviously, instead, we just found our second... We only have two survival skills in the deck, <laughs> so instead of finding one of those Dravens, we just found the second survival skills. So not ideal. Not ideal. Let's go, go. All right, yeah, predictions are up. Lunari, rise. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Yeah, if we can fight a Draven, double survival looks awesome. They've had a little bit of a slower hand, which is good. And we now have, like, the opportunity to get a whole bunch of gems with these three gem cards. And so that could be good for a Errol, the Arl, the tracker, later. Darkness. I feel like if I play anything, like, they, they played the Nocturne right there, because then they have multiple Nocturnes in hand, so they have the Nocturne Champion spell. This is what I'm thinking, and so, like, if I play anything, they they Unspeakable Horror and kill the Metro of the Stones. And so maybe it's good to just get the attack in before that happens. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking here. Arrow, Arrow. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna just keep on saying weird words for the name of this card. Arrow. All 
Maybe I should just be like hard casting survival skills right now. That was weird. Uh oh. So that means that a, a Pale Cascade makes that a 4-4. So I, I have to do this, otherwise Pale Cascade levels up Diana, gives it the plus one, plus one, so then they get to kill Sparklefly. We can't really have that happen. The tribes have blinded me with resplendence, but they could not break me! Yeah, I should have just hard cast survival skills this round. That would have been clutch. Face your heretic. If you don't block the flight, like the the flight is amazing with Stalking Shadows, because like the ephemeral one does get tucked back in here before it dies. But we'll get tucked back over there. We could really use a Draven. A Whirling Death. I don't have the mana for Errol now because I had to play that other Zenith Blade. I didn't want to, but I had to. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Celestial power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why not just block? I mean, I'm happy about that. And I'm hoping Whirling Death can protect Sparklefly. Draven's such a great draw. That's the best draw. That we could possibly have. That's a good card. That's a good call. They're scared of flock. That's why they don't block. They don't want to block because of flock. Now we have Draven plus Whirling Death plus Survival Skills plus Gem. Like that's that was just the perfect draw. Don't turn around. I was scared of hush. You know, right? Like attacking with Sparkle Flag like, like that, and they hush. That was scary. As we all know, it's Draven time. So we know that they have another 5-3. Another Crescent Guardian. This one's looking good. This one's looking good. Zenith Blade gives a lot of health. Pass over me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 79. Alright, we'll take it. We're a Terra tech. We're going to play it. Looks like they may or may not have given up. That's two. Three. So close to leveling up. Six. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it's like maybe I should just proactive use the spinning axe to make it seven. But oh. Misfortune Jarvan. Okay, another deck that 
Uh, maybe we can do kind of the same type of thing. They're going to probably have more challengers. Let's look at these two. We'll get Bastion right back. Ooh, love it. I've seen the Taric. So we're going to have the attack token round three. So we can go Draven round three with the attack token. And then we'll have all the spell mana available. I love that about this game. Like the whole spell mana thing. That is such a good idea. Like whoever came up with that idea, it's such a good idea. Such a well, such a well-designed part of the game. It's so much more interesting than just like other games, like where you just have one man on one, then two man on two, and you know we didn't play anything on one or two. Well, too bad. Now you only have three. This spell man is really Get nice. Get Let's do this. Make it worth my while. All right. So yeah, predictions are up. Okay, so no blocks, no blocks. Arl. My shield is yours. Okay, so that's... I think I'm just passing. Instead of just getting, like, a Taric, take a bunch of damage. So we Whirling Death, and then play Taric. That's pretty awesome. Cooking. Being able to trade two spinning axe. All right, that not as awesome. <laughs> but still, we traded two spinning axe for a sharp sight. Like they could have just played that barrier right away. So now they're you know only down to three cards. Sparklefly was very good. Alright, let's start. Daybreak here. Draw one Zenith Blade. Now we'll attack. Copy it over. Draw the other Zenith Blade. So we just got a nice draw two out of there. Alright, that was a good draw two. Our Tarek is a three out of seven. Yeah, I would I'd be happy with the five mana Arl. I can't because the spinning axes cost zero, so we, like that's that's a good part about playing spinning axe zero, so we can go Arl, spinning axe. We are doing a lot better than them on the card advantage front. Gross. The Jarvan front, though. Jarvan looking good. Alright, I guess this just happens. So I, I need to be able to protect Taric you know, from Flea Feather Tracker. So I guess I don't get to play... Guess we don't get to play. Um... Oh. Oh, right. Right, that's the thing. Sorry, don't get to play Arl. So you got four. Six, copy over seven. I've got your back. Man, I 
mean, I guess they could just have fight spells. Yeah, right now, Aro kills the 3-2, the but I hope they don't have a fight spell. Yes, okay. Discard you. Oh, I guess I should be targeting the Aro both times on this, by the way. I shouldn't be targeting the... Yeah, that was that was bad. I need to be targeting the Aro, because I wanted the... Yeah, that was bad. Because obviously I want to copy over the Zenith Blade. But I'm level leveling up Taric, so these can't take damage or die. Um, I think it may still copy over... Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, so it still does copy over the Zenith Blade. Because the, the Spinning Axe is weird. The Spinning Axe counts as two targets. So it actually... So yeah, so it still copies over the Zenith Blade. So it didn't matter. Alright, so all good. But I could have had five power Arl. Which is what I should have. This is a new can't take damage or die animation. I'll stop you. The Targon board is sweet. I, 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 just, I like the colors of this board. This uh, Riven card back looks pretty cool on this board too. Alright, round in. Strike. Very, very good guiding touch draw. Be able to heal this Taric. We protect these woods as they protect us. That's a very bad draw though for me. Where are we at? One out of four for reputation? That's not very high. It's not very many. Basically, can probably save like one of these two, but not both. So I guess I'm I'm saving Arl. Well, at least that that helped out the whisper words reputation. Arl doing its thing. I'm ready to shine. Yeah, you'd think this would be over. You would think. It looks pretty over. And opponent thinks so as well. Alright, we're 2-0. and oh. That one, we definitely got to show off our two namesake cards a lot more. But Draven was, was really important. Draven was huge. And then... You know, Tarek and Arl. Mm. Tough, tough matchup. Aurelia, Azir. Alright, so Whisper Word's gone. We'll keep the rest. Uh, I wouldn't mind finding a Sparklefly and being able to buff up a Sparklefly. It's also a lot of fun to say Sparklefly. What's up, Sparklefly? How you doing on this? Monday. Right, that's the day it is today. Because it's meme tier Monday. Hang on, Buzzball. Um. Full speed ahead. Sure. Can we find like a Draven for the survival skills or just like, you know, any spells that target Taric? So we get a gem. But I'm very happy to trade. You know, both those trades were very good for me because these cards they have have Where been awesome. Fall, do we really just do that? <laughs> Did I just say we need a, a Draven? And then we drew a Dra Draven? Sounds like that's what I did. Alright, so we can level up Draven. I kind of want to do this. Yeah, let, let's level up Draven. Time for the money makers. This is gonna hurt for you. 
Well, I guess it really means they can't attack anymore. I guess they just they just won't attack anymore. Yeah. All right. So maybe that wasn't the best idea. I'm ready to shine. But it kept them from attacking for you know eight. That would have been difficult to deal with. The Emperor commands the land obeyed. to protect all. Never submit. Keep your distance. Discard Mountain Goat, level up Draven. Nah. Mountain Goat could definitely be important. Yeah, hopefully no 5 drop and no Azir. Really? But like, why? Alright, now we're definitely leveling up Draven. My things are tough. Oh. That's why. Well, guess we're not leveling up Draven. Thanks, survival skills. Thanks for showing up after my Draven died. Alright, early gone. Yeah, no one expects the second survival skills, especially when we didn't have you know, we didn't use it at all the round before. That's mean. It means I don't get to copy that with Tarek. Alright, what do we got? Quick attack? Doesn't really matter that much. I mean, it... I'm pretty surprised they're making this attack. Just letting, letting me heal my Nexus for 5. Is that worth 1 damage on the Sparklefly? I mean, I guess it does make it a 4-4 four, four instead of... Oh, Bastion's good. Yeah, Bastion's good. Um, yeah, let's we'll go Bastion. The fight never ends. I am the protector of the mountain. All right, GGS. Our deck is sweet. Three and O. Oh. oh no, the deck I never beat. I don't know how anybody beats these thralls, these 8-8s. I never win against this deck. Okay, Pill Cascade is awesome. Especially if we find if we find Tarek on four. Right, because like you you have the Squire on one, you save the two spellman on two. No, they have the turn one thrall. The card's unbeatable. Tarek? Okay, no Tarek right now. We'll just play the Mountain Goat. I'm like 0 for my last 5 against this deck. <laughs> so let's see if we can turn that around. Secrets hidden by frost. I don't know. 
I think the secret's it's pretty obvious what it's going to be. It's going to be the death of me. Sandra dead, and they down to seven. Oh, that's Draclorn. Gross. Oh no! Oh wait, Draclorn's gonna be at the end of the round, right? Um. Yeah, maybe we're just trading. I got excited there for a second. Can I win this? I needed Overwhelm, didn't I? Oh, wait, they can't play Draclorn. No Draclorn in sight. Okay, okay. Can still do quick speed advance. Yeah, because like they there are like the burst speed advance spells. Like if I just open attack, um, they can advance too. I can kill them if they don't have one of those. I can kill them though. I guess uh, I guess we have to kind of gem whichever one. They're not gonna block though. Alright, not great. Alright, please stay alive. Can't go above twenty life. Um, You've got an axe with your name on it. Four. All right. So what am I doing? Now we're cooking. That's six. Okay. So that one strikes first. Let's do it like this. Strike there, strike here. All right, so the first one doesn't kill the 8-8, eight eight, but it puts it down to one health. And then the second one kills the next, you know, but then we leveled up because the Draven's gotten two. Two spinning axes, so now Draven levels up. So now Draven has eight power. So now the second one 
will um, will kill. You know, now now this whirling death kills that with the eight power, and then of course the eight four kills this one, and now my one two sparkle fly kills this one. And we have nine cards in hand, so we don't have to do anything else. There we go, GG's. Figured it out. And we 4 0. Alright, so as y'all know, whenever we are 4 0 with our meme tier decks, that means that we head on over to rank to try to finish out the 5 0. That means it's doing too good in normal. With it being 4-0, so for our last game, let's try it over here in Diamond. Real fun, interesting matchup. Almost, you know, like, those 8-8s are really hard to stop. That's a deck that I don't usually beat. Um, that's a very, you know, that's a, a really great deck that I don't usually beat. With just anything. Not necessarily with this deck, but with anything. Alright, so back on over in Ranked, we're going to be playing against Aurelia Azir. Let's mulligan the Whisper Words. I guess we mulligan Zenith Blade as well. Zenith Blade's pretty sweet, though. Like, that extra two health's a lot of health. I can make a big difference. I won't keep it. I guess I'm gonna look at it, but I kinda wanna keep it. So we did just two matches ago, we did beat Aurelia Azir, but I think we got pretty fortunate. I think my opponent made some poor trades they didn't need to. Um... I think we got pretty fortunate with that. Love survival skills. Which three drop to play? Like getting getting the permanent plus two plus two buff is no joke. So assuming they play like Azir. I don't know, I kind of want to play Mentor the Stones. Mystical levitation requires concentration. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. It's not as good for me. Celestial that is much, much worse for me. Should have gone Draven. 5 4 go. Derek. Where they fall, freedom grows. The party has arrived. I suppose I prefer a clown to a butcher. So getting Draven in play, of course, so I can block Aurelia. Draven. Always forward. Now we're cooking. This is going to hurt for you. Uh, yeah, okay. Awesome. I didn't want to just discard gem, um, even though that would have, you know, gave me the opportunity to level up Draven. But just, just in case, I didn't want to just discard gem. Don't worry, I am here. I'm not worried. Should I be worried? Probably. And is that too much greed by me, or need to just be attacking immediately? Mayhaps. Okay, so you're going to buff up you, and you're going to heal you. Time for the money makers. Never submit. Of course, using the um, spinning axe on the Draven to level it up. Too bad. 
but that slows them down quite a bit. Yeah, and that's fine with me. We're still pretty far ahead right now. I'm yeah, I'm not I'm not too I'm not too mad at that. So two away for Tarek. Show them the might of our army. Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. I am the protector of the mountain. Of the mountain. Oh, I guess I could have done the other one on the mountain goat, right? Because this was—I I wanted this to be six power, right, for the for that thing. But yeah, I could have done the other one on the because the level up. That's fine. Then that would have helped out with whisper words, but oh well, that's fine. Ready, willing, and yeah, if the other one was fine. No. That's some thunder. I don't know. Can y'all hear that? And punch. That was a big time thunder right there. It's still going. Fade and be gone. Next time. Stand down. Okay, we'll have our leveled up Tarek. Oh, Pale Cascade's good. Okay, let's go... Gem, you. Pale Cascade, you. Cascade over to you. Never submit. Who blesses you? Mm. Azir. Doing your thing. So I can either level up Draven or keep this Mountain Goat alive. And I guess keep the Mountain Goat alive is better than level up Draven. Please kill Inspiring Marshal. We need Inspiring Marshal to die. No. No. We need Inspiring Marshal to die. Ooh, that card never dies. Probably not blocking with the Taric. Like, I don't think, like, healing it twice will really help, because there'll be, like, four ones. Oh no. Oh no. Where are you at? Two, five? Five's good. To serve the greater good. Edward Meow with the Twitch Prime sub. We got another Twitch Prime sub today, our third sub of the day. That's amazing. Y'all get some hype in the chat for our third sub. Thank you, Edward. Okay, you're gonna defend him until the end. That's that's a long time to defend him. Got an axe with your name on it. No matter. Now we're cooking.
14. I'm just kind of wondering if they're going to be scared to attack with Azir or not. I hope so. If basically what I'm doing here, best case scenario is I can just take the attack and I don't don't block. Darn. But obviously if they attack with the Azir, I can't just take the, the attack. That would have been the best case scenario though. Let's go. So they they have to have homecoming. Perfect. Now homecoming doesn't. They have to have. I don't know what now. Because now the arrow is six power as well. So they're both lethal. They can't take damage or die. Is that going to be a five zero? Is that the 5-0 right there? 5-0 for our Arl the Tracker deck? Including beating Aurelia Azir twice? Oh, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. I haven't used these emotes before. I haven't used those two before. <laughs> that guy's living his best life. I'm going with it. Five and O. Oh. Arl, the tracker. Man, we're saving our best decks for the day. We just got progressively better throughout the day. That's all she wrote. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I, I forget about emotes all the time. Yeah, I'm too focused to emote. Yeah, I, I just... I don't emote very much. I need to emote more. Wow, what an ending there. 5-0 and oh with our meme tier deck. We even took it over to ranked for the fifth game. Faced Aurelia Azir. Took their best punch. Handled it. Um, and a fitting end to it with having um, Tarek and Arl being, being the ones both attacking for lethal at the very end. Because it is Tarek Arl for our deck name. So a really cool little deck here. You know, is this going to be like one of the best decks ever? No, but like it, it can put up some wins. We saw like Draven do a ton. Draven, Tarek. Our, all of our cards were very, very good. Survival skills was awesome. You know, like Zenith Blade adding on the extra health to keep like our Sparkle Fly alive from Diana attacks, stuff like that. Like Zenith Blade, very good. Um, everything kind of did its job. Um, Whirling Death was incredible, right? Like we, we beat the 8-8s because of the Whirling Deaths. Like we just got 8 power Draven. Whirling Death against the 8-8s, that card was incredible. Awesome, awesome deck here. And then of course the gems. Mentor the Stones, Mountain Goat. Both played a big part of getting a lot of gems for us that were really useful. So, um, yeah, one wonderful showing here for this meme tier deck. I'm sure we'll put this down as the best meme tier deck of the day um, here with Tarek Aral. Beating Aurelia Azir twice and then also beating the Turbo um, the Turbo Thrall deck that I really struggle beating. We, we beat that deck. We also beat Nightfall, another deck that I really struggle beating that's a really good deck. Um, so, yeah, we had some great wins with uh, Draven, Tarek, Arl. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Hopefully this is, uh, you know, this is a really good deck. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed it. Um, let me know. We had some great decks today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed them. Um, yeah, the Yasuo deck was really cool too. So there we go. That's, that's Meme Tier Monday. That's what it's all about. It's about playing some different cards that you don't see in Ranked at all, like Arl the Tracker, and having some success with them and building around them and having fun. That was a ton of fun. 
All right, but that's it here for Tarek Arl. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.